kids in the loop in this situation. And last night I asked both my sons, how you guys doing? How you handling news of this tragic shooting? And maybe some of the parents at home had that same conversation with their kids. Yeah, I know I did. Yeah. Now, if you haven't had a chance to talk to your kids about this, it's more than likely they've already heard bits and pieces in school, around. Joining us right now is Christian Moorhead. She's a licensed therapist. Thank you for being here. You have Thanks more than 15 years of experience in mental health therapy. So how do you recommend parents start that conversation and how does it change depending on the age of the child? Well, so it's important to be honest with kids and not sugarcoat it because that will increase their anxiety. And as far as the age is concerned, elementary school kids, you want to keep it really simple and you want to reassure them with real examples as far as how they're safe. Like we lock our doors, the schools have gates that are locked. Middle school kids have more questions, and so you really want to allow those questions to dictate how much detail you go into and how much information you give them. Yeah, and, and that's the age of, of, all, of our kids, and it, it did it was interesting the way my conversation evolved yesterday because the conversation then got into gun control and even to, to politics, yeah. which is a healthy conversation to have, I think, with your kids. Definitely. And the older they are, the more they're able to have those conversations. Mm -hmm. So especially as you move into, you know, high school age kids, they're going to have more opinions and you really want to validate those opinions and encourage them and empower them in ways they can help. And you talk about how, you, you know, you want to be honest with them, of course, but you don't want to instill fear. A lot of people feel anxiety about going out, going to public events. How do you balance that with your kids to make sure that they are safe, but that they can also live their lives? Well, it's important. I mean, you can't control bad things, they happen. And so you really want to just encourage them and tell them ways that they're safe and how we keep them safe and what happens. I mean, you it really, you have no control over ex your, really all this stuff except yeah. for yourselves. And you can't live in fear, otherwise you're not living. Yeah. And so you just want to encourage them to be safe in all the ways that we do protect them. All right, Kristen Moorhead, thank you for your expertise. And it's an important, important reminder that, you know, we got to keep our kids in the loop during these trying times. So thank you very much. Thanks for, for that. having me. Yeah.